Let's now relate this to our first set of notes, where we floated the idea that it might sometimes be useful to use axes other than the standard x and y axis. Let's see how we can use bases to define axes, and then let's see how the coordinate vectors fit into that. Let's say that we have the standard x and y axis. These axes give us several things. They give us two lines. And these lines are number lines. So they also give us a concept of distance. Along the x-axis, one unit, two units, three units, and so on. Along the y-axis, one unit, two units, three units, and so on. And if we have a point and we want to know what that point is, well, starting from the origin, we travel one unit, two units, three units along the x-axis. We travel one unit, two units along the y-axis. And this is the point three comma two. So far, so pre-algebra. Let's now give a basis of R2. The vectors one, three, and two, negative one. And let's see how these vectors vectors can be used to define axes other than the standard x, y axis. And let's see what effect that has on this point. Well, the vector 1, 3, can be used to define a line. I mean, here's the vector one, three. We use that to create the line. And if we call this vector B1, this line is the B1 axis. Likewise, the vector two negative one is here. If we call this vector B two, then this is our B two axes. So those are our axes. What about putting numbers on them? In addition to letting these vectors define the axes, we're going to use these vectors to define lengths on these axes. So this length here, the length of B1, is going to represent one unit on the B1 axis. So there's one, there's two, there's three, negative one, and so on. 
And this vector, B2, will give us one unit on the B2 axis. There's one, there's two, negative one, and so on. We can now use these axes to talk about points. Let's talk about three comma two. If we're now using these axes, suddenly three comma two is somewhere completely different. One, two, three units. Then one, two units. Suddenly, three comma two is all the way over here. And what's this point? Well, to get to this point, we go one unit in this direction and one unit in this direction. Suddenly the point that we've been calling three comma two is now one comma one. How does this relate to coordinate vectors? Well, we see that this point has two different names, as it were, depending on which act we're using. The x, y axis gives us three, two. The b1, b2 axis gives us one, one. And now looking at this set, observe that three, two, is one times this basis vector plus one times this second basis vector. In other words, if now thinking of this point as a vector, this is the coordinate I mean, that same vector with respect to B. So if you have a basis of R2 other than the standard one, and you're using that to define a coordinate system, you're really just working with coordinate vectors.